Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 239, NASDAQ up 163, SP's up 45. Gold, gold contract trading down $41.60 at 1958 an ounce. We have silver off 22 cents, $22.42 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 69, $69.33 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 29.6, trading 114.05. The 30-year down a full point, plus 12.6 at 130.02. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now down 33 ticks, trading 103.248. The euro is at 107. The yen is trading at 132. And the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Now, this is going to be really interesting, folks, to watch how this shakes out. And specifically, what I'm going to talk about is this. So we have intraday here, right, it is a high volume low. And you've just tested the high with tremendously lighter volume, okay? So the high that we're talking about that we're testing here, okay, is the 4,031. We got to 4,000. Well, check this out. This is what's amazing, actually. 4,031.50 was the high of this morning. Now, we just tested it and we're laying right there, okay? That high, the first time up, we had 450,000. Yeah, we had, hold on a second. 600, yeah, 658,000 contracts, okay? Bottom line, we just went in, into that with uh, 206,000 contracts. Let me see this. Okay, so yeah, we got one minute left. So the real question is, is that, is it going to basically close under that level? And if it does close under that level in the next minute, what's game is that you can see down the very bottom here at 4,003, you have a high volume low. So when you see something like this, what can happen is that we can come right back down there before the close. Now that's the first part. The second part gets more intriguing. And okay, so that's on a daily basis right there. The next part goes like this. You take, when you look at the SPY, what we have with the SPY is this. The SPY, you can see that the correlation, the correlation is, the, the contraction of volume here is phenomenal, folks, okay? Number one, you're going into 111 million shares. That was the downdraft that was created out here on the 9th of March. We only done 58. Then you get the swing point that we're taking out right now. The swing point we're taking out is the 296.45. At that particular level, now watch what we have here. So what you're going into is 112 million. The swing point that you're taking out is 149 million, but watch the consistency here. So on Thursday, no, on Monday, Friday, on Friday, we did 140 million shares. Yesterday, we did 93 million shares, and you're at 58 million shares there. So that's telling me two different things. It's telling me we're either going to see that failure out here today with, with the future, or when the Fed comes out tomorrow with their statement, bottom line, we're going south once again, because we have a high volume low inside the SPY out here at the 380, as well as all the way down here at the 374, as well as all the way down here at the 348 as well as your high, as your ABC structure, larger ABC structure on the way down. And the X100, Let's, we'll put up the uh, NQs first. You take a look at the NQs. What we have with the NQs out here, I suspect it's gonna be the same number. Okay, so the number that we took out on the NQs, now the, the NQs have been stronger than the, the SPY, that's for sure. And the, the Q, I mean the S and P's. So the number is 837, and right now you're uh, 13 points over that level. Now we went over that level with lighter volume uh, in, inside the futures market. We had 244,000 contracts. We just took that out with 90,000. The Q's also, though the the futures also have that high volume low that's laying out there at 12,712. Then if we go into the Qs, you're going to see the same setup inside of the Qs. 
meaning that we take a look at the the dailies and we're going to see what the dailies we just took out the swing point of 30915 and you know there is volume up at this 313 okay so we'll, we'll, well let me go through this one first so what you have there is that you're taking out volume of 89 million to get 35 you're going into 63 so either way okay this is where this gets really cool either way folks okay is that I suspect when they come out at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we're, we're either going to basically fail today on this 309.15, which is pretty easy to do, or what will end up happening is that we get the statement tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and we get the uh, news uh, conference at 2.30. This maybe spikes this high up here, but my take, we're going south. That's the, When you put it all together, we're going south. Gold. We look at the gold contract. Bottom line inside the gold contract, gold just loves to do this, man. <laughs> it just never ends. Uh, bottom line, it took out the swing yesterday, has the volume taken out in the swing. If we take a look at gold, if we just go from the bottom to the top, right now you're approaching a 0.382. I suspect what we're going to see here inside the gold market. Let's put this up. Let me see where. Let's see. Get this volume and then we had rolled on this contract so even even in the roll there it is right there so there 1935 right now you're at 1958 1935 is game and 1935 let's see what that is it's probably like a 50 percent or just over 50 percent retracement from the move this is the 50 1932 is a 50 percent retracement of the move and i suspect guess what that's where it's going to go Dollar. What's going to get intriguing here with the dollar is this, is that the dollar came back to, you know, where I suspect it was going to come back to. And what that is, that's its strength, how we came off the bottom. And the high of that strength was the 103.006. Well, we got to 103.002 today. And right now you're still hanging. You have, you have a couple of ticks from that. But... You know, bottom line, I suspect you're going to get a rejection of lower price like that, and the dollar once again wants to go topside. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks.